Hi, my name is Fahmi. In this video, I would like to explain about hedging bond futures. We have two types of hedging strategy in bond futures market in Malaysia. The first one is anticipatory selling hedge or short hedge strategy. The second one is anticipatory buying hedge or long hedge strategy. So how to choose your hedging strategy? It is based on your trading objective. If you plan to sell MGS at the spot markets in the future, then you use short hedge strategy. If you plan to buy MGS at the spot market in the future, then you need to use long hedge strategy. So to exercise or to implement short hedge strategy, you need to sell futures contract today. Or basically, you open position in futures market and you take short position. If you use long hedge strategy, you need to buy futures contract today or you need to take long position in futures market. Before we start with steps for long hedge and short hedge strategy, I would like to explain about how to identify change in value in spot market as a cash inflow or cash outflow. So the formula for change in value is spot price in the future minus spot price today divided by spot price today times total portfolio. Okay, so when you calculate change in value, okay, you can fall into four cases here. Case number one, case number two, three, and four. Okay, uh, for case number one, you calculate change in value, you get positive value, and then your transaction in spot market is you buy MGS. That means that change in value is cash outflow because it is basically increase in cost of buying MGS. Okay, so at the time you buy bond, the value of bond is increased, so you need to pay extra money. So that is cash outflow. Case number two, you calculate change in value, you get positive value, and then at that time you sell MGS. That is considered as a cash inflow because it is an increase in revenue of selling MGS. Okay, you sell MGS, the price of MGS is higher, so you get extra money. So that extra money is cash inflow. Case number three, you calculate change in value, you get negative value, and then your transaction in spot market, you buy MGS. That means it is a cash inflow because it is a decrease in cost of buying MGS. Okay, you pay less at the time you buy bond. Okay, so that is your cash inflow. Okay, case number four, you calculate change in value, you get negative value, and then your transaction in spot market, you sell nation government securities. So that is your cash outflow because it is a decrease in revenue of selling MGS. Now, I would like to explain about long hedge strategy. So this is an example case for long hedge strategy in uh, Malaysian government securities market. So if you look at this question, assume it is now February 2007 and Citibank intends to purchase RM50 million of 5 years MGS when they are issued in one month time which is March 2007. The bank is concerned about a fall in interest rate between now, February 2007, and when the MGS are issued March 2007. Should this occur, it will increase the price of the new MGS bond that the bank wish to buy but with lower interest receipt. Currently, the 5 years MGS is traded at price 112.95 in both spot and futures market. Calculate the net profit from the hedging strategy if the price for 5 years MGS in March is converged at 113.13. Okay, so when you read the question, first you need to identify what is your trading objective so that you can choose your hedging strategy. So it is mentioned here, okay, you plan or you intend to purchase 50 million of 5 years MGS. That means you're going to buy bond in the future, which is in the next month. So if you plan to buy asset or you plan to buy bond, then you need to use long hedge strategy. That is the 
most important step in hedging strategy. Second, you must identify what is the price of bond in the spot market for today, price of bond futures today, and price for spot and futures market later on uh, at the time you want to close out your transaction. So in this question, it states here, price 112.95 in both and futures markets today. So that means spot and futures market today converge at 112.95. And then at the time you want to close out your transaction, price for both futures and spot market converge at 113.13. So this is information given from the case. Okay. So you plan to buy 50 million of bond and then you have price for futures and spot market today and price for spot and futures market later. The size of contract for FMG is 100,000 per contract. You need to remember this. And then another one you need to remember minimum price fluctuation is 10 ringgit. Okay. So size of contract and minimum price fluctuation are stated in contract specification for FMG. Okay, so how to calculate your effective price? We have seven steps like other uh, hedging strategy. The first one, you need to calculate number of futures contract. Okay, so to protect your 50 million of investment in bond market. Okay, so you need to find out what is the number of futures contract equivalent to 50 million of bond in futures market, in spot market. So the formula is investment amount divided by size of contract. So you want to invest 50 million of bond. You plan to buy 50 million of bond. Size of contract for FMG is 100,000. That means you need to use 500 lots of contract. Second step, you need to choose your hedging strategy. Okay, you plan to buy bond next month. So we use long hedge strategy. The third step, you need to prepare your hedging table so basically in hedging table you need to outline in detail what are your transactions in spot market and what are your transaction in futures market so today in cash market or spot market you project or you plan to buy 50 million of bond in March okay so that is your future transaction in spot market so to protect this transaction you plan to use long hedge strategy. So long hedge strategy, to exercise the long hedge strategy, you need to enter futures market and you buy futures contract. So in this case, futures market today, you open position in futures market, you buy March contract. Why March contract? Because you plan to buy bond in March. If you plan to buy bond in September, then you need to use September futures contract okay so you buy March contract today at price 112.95 how many futures contract you need to buy 500 lots based on step number one so to protect 50 million of bond you need to use 500 lots of FMG contract when it come to me uh, sorry it come to March later at the time you want to close out your transaction okay in March spot market you buy 50 million of bond at higher price of 113.13 and then you need to close out your transaction in futures market so basically we use cash settlement cash settlement means you take opposite position from the previous one so in this case you start position in futures you buy 500 lots of contract so to close out you need to take opposite position so you sell 500 March FMG contract at price 113.13. Step number four, you need to calculate profit from futures market. So the formula for profit and loss for FMG is selling price minus buying price times number of contracts times 100 times minimum price fluctuation minus broker's commission. So, selling price and buying price, please refer to your hedging table from the previous step. Okay, you sell bond at price 113.13. Sorry, you sell FMG contract at price 
then you buy at price 112.95 number of contract here is 500 100 is or, uh, is the figure in the formula and then minimum price fluctuation is 10 ringgit okay so you calculate futures profit or loss in this case you get positive value positive means you make profit profit is cash inflow step number five you calculate change in value of bond okay so the formula spot price in future minus spot price today divided by spot price today times total portfolio so spot price in the future from the hedging table okay from the column spot market or cash market you get spot price in future is 113.13 spot price today is 112.95 and then total portfolio amount in spot market is 50 million so basically you get positive 79,681 ringgit and 27 cents. So this is change in value. Like I said before, change in value, you must identify whether change in value is cash inflow or cash outflow for the investor. Okay, so how to identify whether it is a change in, uh, cash inflow or cash outflow? It is based on first whether the value is increase or decrease the value is positive or negative in this case you calculate change in value you get positive value that's mean value increase and then for long h your transaction in spot market you buy bond or you buy asset okay so it is a basically increase in cost of buying mgs so it is a cash outflow that's mean at the time the investor buy the bond okay the investor needs to pay extra 79,681 ringgit and 27 cent. So this is the cash outflow. Step number six is to calculate the net effect. So formula net effect is equal to total portfolio plus change in value plus futures profit. In this formula, every item you need to identify whether it is a cash inflow or cash outflow. Cash inflow, you put negative. Cash inflow, you put positive sign. Cash outflow, you put negative sign. Total portfolio here, fifty million. You buy bond. Buy bond means you need to pay cash. So fifty million is considered as your cash outflow. Negative fifty million. Change in value. I put it here negative because this is an increase in cost of buying bond. We already identified it in the previous step. And the last one is futures profit. Futures profit is cash inflow. So I put it here positive 90,000. So the net effect is 50 million 10,318 ringgit and 73 cents. Step number seven calculate the effective price. Formula for an effective price is equivalent to net effect divided by portfolio amount times today's spot price. So the net effects you get from the step number 6, 50 million, 10,318 ringgit, 73 cents, divided by 50 million times 112.95 today's spot price. So you get 112.97. So from this example, you can see that a portfolio manager who hedge can buy at lower price which is at 112.97 compared to price without hedging you need to buy bond at price 113.13 next we move to short hedge strategy i use this example to explain the step how to calculate effective price for short hedge strategy as investment director of fund management you anticipate interest rate in market is to experience another uptrend between today and near future which is September. Currently, MGS and September FMG is at 113.13. Your investment plan is to sell a portfolio consists of bond worth 10 million in September. As expected, at the end of September, MGS and September FMG is at 112.95. Establish your hedging strategy by showing your hedging benefits. Okay, so the first step to prepare hedging strategy for this case, you must choose your hedging strategy. So how to choose your hedging strategy? The, the decision is based on your trading objective. Okay, so you look at your case here. 
Okay, it's mentioned here you plan to sell a portfolio consists of bond. That's mean you plan to buy bond worth 10 million in September. So you plan to buy bond, sorry, you plan to sell bond in the future. So if you plan to sell bond in the future to protect that transaction, you need to use short hedge strategy. Okay, and then you need to identify what is the spot and futures price today and later. So today the price is at 113.13 okay for both spot and futures market later price converge at 112.95 in spot and futures market So these are inf information from the question okay uh, you have your trading objective here you plan to sell bond worth 10 million and then today is June, you plan to sell it in September. It is important for you to identify what is the month for your future transaction in spot market. Okay, so then you have spot and futures price today. And then spot and futures price later. So today price converge at 113.13 and later price converge at 112.95. Size of contract, you need to remember this figure 100,000 per contract for FMG and minimum price fluctuation for FMG is 10 ringgit per contract. So we have seven steps for hedging strategy, short hedge strategy. Step number one, you need to calculate number of futures contract. Okay, so you plan to sell 10 million of bonds divided by size of contract 100,000 that means you need to use 100 loss of contract in futures market. Step number two, you need to choose your hedging strategy. In this case, you plan to sell bond, so we use short hedge strategy. Step number three, prepare your hedging table. Okay, so today, early June, in spot market or cash market, you plan to sell 10 million of bond, current price at 113.13. So to protect your selling activities in spot market, you need to use short hedge strategy. So short hedge strategy, you need to sell futures contract today. So you sell September contract. Why September contract? Because you plan to sell bond in September. Okay, how many futures contract? 100 lots of contract based on step number one. Okay. When it comes to September, you sell 10 million of bond at expected lower price of 112.95. Then you need to close out your transaction in futures market by using cash settlement. So cash settlement, you take opposite position. You start with sell, then close with buy. You start using 100 lots of contract of asset of September FMG. So close also, you need to use 100 lots of contract for September FMG. Step number four, you calculate profit from futures market. So selling price minus buying price times number of contract times 100 times minimum price fluctuation minus broker's commission. So selling price and buying price for futures market, you refer from the hedging table in step number four. Okay, from the uh, column futures market the selling price is 113.13 and the buying price is 112.95 times 100 number of contracts times 100 times 10 minimum price fluctuation so you get positive 18,000 so positive means you make profit profit is cash inflow step number five you calculate change in value of bond in spot market so change in value of bond okay so the formula is spot price in future minus spot price today divided by spot price today times total portfolio. So spot price in the future 112.95 minus spot price today 113.13. So 112.95 and 113.13 please refer to hedging table from column cash market. Okay, so you get negative 15,910 ringgit and 90 cents. Okay. So this change in value, you must identify it whether it's a cash inflow or cash outflow. So based on the value, whether it is a decrease or increase, and then you must look at your transaction in spot market. So for this example, you calculate change in value, you get negative value. That means value decrease. 
and then your transaction in spot market you sell asset that means change in value here is decrease in revenue of selling asset so that means it is a cash outflow okay due to the decrease in price of bond the portfolio manager revenue decreased by 15,910 ringgits and 90 cents okay so this is cash outflow step number six you need to calculate net effect so formula for net effect total portfolio plus change in value of portfolio plus futures profit or loss okay you must put sign for cash inflow and cash outflow for each item in this formula so total portfolio is 10 million so 10 million here is cash inflow i put positive sign here cash inflow because you sell bond 10 million so you receive money 10 million so that is cash inflow change in value here is negative 15,910 ringgit 90 cents so this is cash outflow decrease in revenue of selling bond and then the last one is futures profit you get 18,000 18,000 here is positive cash inflow because you make profit so you get 10 million 2089 ringgit and 10 cents so in short hitch strategy the profit from futures market is used to reduce the decrease in revenue from selling the bond because of price decrement in the spot market the last step you calculate effective price with hedging so net effect divided by portfolio amount time to the spot price so you get 113.95 when you compare with hedging you sell bond at higher price which is at 113.15 compared to price without hedging which is 112.95 okay so in short hedge strategy you want to maximize your selling price so that's all for hedging strategy in fmg market so next for exercise i want you to answer this question question 4 from exam question june 2014 so please try to answer this question and then you can refer the answer for this question uh, in the next slide. Thank you.